What's going on, New Game in Order? We back like juggernaut bitches, and we're hitting you with our second topic. Those of you who are watching live, uh, and you know, shout out to uh, Capital C, Shin Raven, uh, and the rest of the group that are uh, you know active in the chat. Welcome to our podcast uh, second segment. Uh, we're off the heels of our Street Fighter review slash impression slash Capcom's strategy. So make sure you go back to check that out. But uh, the current topic at hand is Microsoft. They're trying to establish bridges. Now, we already know that uh, Quantum Break is that litmus test, so to speak, where it's like, okay, if you buy the game on Xbox Live, you'll also have the Windows 10 version via the Windows 10 store. You know, they're trying to now... Uh, uh, allow you to cross play your content cross buy your content now um, it was brought to my attention from uh, the same website that gave us the information of the uh, that was supposed to make PC games almost impossible to pirate <sighs> update on that 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 Chinese hacking group actually lied they, they cracked the Nuvo already so it, it's in, yeah, it didn't even take that long, but they were trolling folks. But anyway, um, Unilad, uh, that UK, that something, whatever. It's in the background. You can check it out with uh, that Nelson streaming. Pretty much, Microsoft is trying to make a handshake with Valve and Steam to pretty much do cross-play with common games. Now, consider all, all things considered. You know, you got some people like that idiot who got into it with uh, Phil Spencer on Twitter. Like, oh, yeah, you know, if something's on Xbox One, why didn't you say it's coming on PC? What's the point of old name? It's like, look, more people get to play it. Don't be freaking selfish. Don't be like, you know, that ultra fanboy nonsense. You know what I mean? If you're playing on a PC, and hell, this is great for soldiers who can only bring a laptop overseas. You know what I mean? They can still play their Xbox One games on a laptop, mo something mobile, or play with their friends via Steam or what, what have you. But I never would have thought that a cross-platform, uh, you know, agreement would ever be possible between console and Steam. But here we go. You know, now if you look, it, it, it was saying like it's a rumor, but apparently an announcement is going to be made either today or tomorrow. But uh, I think, in general, it's a good thing because the PC Master Race is like slowly, we're blurring the lines, you know, no pun intended, but blurring the lines like uh, Alan Thick with the, uh, uh, you know, this, or Robin, you Robin know. Robin Thick, what the hell? <laughs> no, I'm used to that because I used to watch him on, uh, what was well, that, Well, don't mention him no more. Don't mention Robin Thick, he's a thief. Yeah, well, yeah, long story, <laughs> but with that, I wanted to give um, the staff a chance to uh, weigh in on it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go backwards on the list. So I wanted to start with Shinwar. Uh, what are your thoughts that now Steam, common game? Backhand. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. You said backhand her. <laughs> yeah, I just take Karen in her face. Go you be ahead. hitting women? What the heck? It goes down in the Street Fighter. Oh, yeah, but God. what are, what are your thoughts on now Microsoft eliminating the barrier for console games on the X1? Or I mean, I don't know if they'll extend that to the 360, but for right now, the Xbox One and Steam games, the common games, they will have cross-play going forward. But what are your thoughts? Well, is it was it? Well, we keep going back to this issue. With, oh, what there was their master plan with with what? Um, Windows 10? What, yeah, what, yeah, was their master how, plan? This, yeah. This, yeah, but this now it's is, it, it, is becoming circular. Yeah, well, the thing is, the fact that they extended the to Steam. You know, we already knew. We already knew they were going to do it for PC and Xbox um, exclusive games. But now this opens it up to even more titles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what is it that Microsoft is after? Yo, if, yo, they gotta get that market back, yo. They, listen, when you think PCs, you think Microsoft. All right, mm -hmm. they're trying to they're trying to bring it back home, yo. Like, you know, the exclusiveness with Windows 10. And the funny part is, a lot of people, the tech, the tech heads, mm -hmm. 
we're not moving to Windows 10. Even though I have a laptop, but my, my main desktop, I'm not moving to Windows 10 just yet. I love Windows 7, so I'm going to stay right there. So, well, good, thing, good thing you're not buying any new hardware for a couple of years because you're never going to be able to get Windows 7 on old hardware ever. Right. <laughs> so the, 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 the thing is, is um, so now that you have... I lost, lost my thought. Hold on, hold on. Losing my thought. Hold on. Shut up, Takuma. Oh yeah. <laughs> so with, uh, well, right, now that right. you have, now now that you have Steam or whatever, yo, they got it. They got to get in there, yo. It's it's just not just the games or exclusives that are on Windows 10. They trying to go after that market, yo. Mm-hmm. And I'm sorry, I, I know I know Nelson don't want to talk about Street Fighter, but that that Sony, that's PS4 and that uh, cross cross platform to the PC that hit a lot of people hard, yo. Like, oh shoot. This is the first time that has ever happened uh, mm-hmm. with, 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 with Street Fighter. You know, mm-hmm. with cross platform. By and I, I, honestly, we wish it would have been multi multi console. Um, but look at Killer Instinct. So now you'll be able to get it on PC as well. So mm-hmm. cool. I think I think in general, and and Playboy did make a good point. It sounds similar, it, it, but it's also something new to the fact that okay, if you open up cross. Uh, gaming play or cross plat play between Steam and Xbox One will titles that didn't appear on Xbox One start showing up later. Uh, Wait a minute, that was already on Steam? No, yeah. No. I, I honestly, like, I'll make this, like, little uh, thing. From what mm. I've read from the past and until now, it's only specific titles that will be coming okay, out that are both promoted from Steam and Xbox One. If they made it, which will be the ideal. If they made it so that every backwards compatible catalog on Steam and on Xbox One can switch over and be cross-played, that would be amazing. The the amount of like sheer hype will bring people to be like, yo, I have much more of a gaming catalog now on mm-hmm. my Xbox One or vice versa on my PC that I wasn't able to play. But I mm-hmm. don't think that would happen because that's taking like a huge step. And that will have yeah. to take an enormous amount of time to like back a uh, backup servers and ship them over to the Xbox side and all this other shit. But it might just be certain specific titles like the Fable game. There was mm-hmm. supposedly a, a MMO that's coming out that's going to do that. Um, a shooter, I think Quantum Break and uh, one mm-hmm. other title as of now. But that would be very well ideal if we can play games like let's say. Um, Give me a Steam game that doesn't appear on console. Uh, let's say like Vanguard Princess. We could take that Vanguard, needs to come to console. We could take that, Vanguard that. Princess and bring it over to the Xbox One and technically stream it through our consoles and play it with our controllers, like how we stream yes, the Xbox on the One on the PC. That would be marvelous. Oh my yeah. goodness! That that say, that's a dope idea. Yeah, yeah but that, that won't happen because Steam Link. They already invested in Steam Link, and <clears throat> I'm using it, and it's solid. But like I, like a, Steam no, no, but you know, you know how Steam works. <laughs> like if you have like uh, uh, your desktop and then you have your laptop somewhere else in the house, you can st- stream the game. Exactly, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, now. But they have if, a dedicated piece of hardware that you hook up to your now. Right, but the thing is, I I wouldn't be surprised if Steam or Valve, whatever you want to call the company, I wouldn't be surprised if they would be like, all right, Microsoft, you want this to happen, give us a cut. What's the payout now? What are we going to receive in order for you to actually migrate this feature over? I don't think Steam will be stupid and be like, oh no, we're worried our, about our own proprietary device and focus on our sales. The well, more they Microsoft, can expand, Mi- the better. Microsoft would have to open up the Xbox and say, hey, look, you can use our Xbox to stream PC games to it. Well, well they are with DirectX 12, but that's only with certain unique titles. But I think they can expand it to the whole library because that will be, again, that will be groundbreaking. Sony will have to do something ridiculously drastic. To yeah, that's potentially, yeah, that's potentially damaging right there. And it, may, it would make sense for Valve and Microsoft to work together because... No, they're in the PC business, you know, in terms of one is a service, one another is a service and hardware. So, hey, l- they should help each other make money. You know, that, that's just my, my uh, say on it. But if, you know, like you said, Nelson, with that Vanguard Princess thing or some of those indie games, mm-hmm. you know, that uh, never got ported over. I mean, they, they, they don't have to worry about so much because, hey, they're working together. Everybody's making a little something. Hey, 
that open up a, a larger library to both Steam and to freaking the X1. I only see good things happening from this. But that's if they actually go with that idea. And again, we'll bring up Street Fighter Five again because I know you Xbox uh, fanboys or people will get tight if I don't. If they yeah. do this actual plan with the Xbox One slash Steam crossplay, you can actually finally play Street Fighter Five on your Xbox One console without bitching. So there. That, maybe that could have been the reason why Phil Spencer had wow. said there's a lot of deals that are you know made they couldn't make all of them they probably know hey eventually you'll get to play it through steam a lot of mail and, and stream it or it's whatever possible. Will, will it be an app you know what i mean it's like, definitely possible but now what the question is are we going to get charged for this feature Nelson, why you gotta be a Debbie Downer? Why, no, no, why, I'm why, being serious. why like, you gotta? No, I'm being serious. Like, think about it, bro. Like, how Sony has their own little app, which is called uh, PlayStation Now, and they charge you, what, about 40, 50 bucks a month for renting a game? I mean. But if, if, but if you're on the same network, you know what I mean? Like, I okay. I get that, yeah. but if you remember the article where they said that where things were poured over to the Xbox, you'll still have to pay your $60 a uh, monthly subscription to as uh, you can play it on PC, you don't have to pay nothing. So uh -huh. that, that's a little of a fuck up. And then if they have to do that on the Xbox side, you might have to pay for that service. But if you're doing it from the Steam side, you don't have to pay jack shit. Mm hmm. So yeah. that, that's what I think that might actually so happen. Paying that extra service, wow. yo, that's crazy. Yeah, that might be interesting, but you know, Playboy. Oh, and, and, uh, Playboy. Like I say about it. Yeah, you know, what's up? Yeah. I, I just wanted to get your your point on that because I'm trying to do the PC guys first, and then everybody. But if they open up um, Steam crossplay and possibly extend it further to streaming Steam games to the X1. Is, is could that potentially be good or bad for both Microsoft and Valve or or what? It'll I mean, be, it'll be, it'll be excellent. Um, I've said this on like the last five podcasts, and I keep laughing at the people on Facebook who say, "Oh, why are you bringing Quantum Break on PC? Why are you bringing this to PC?" Idiots out there listening, look at old video from E3s and Phil Spencer. They've been talking about crossplay for the last two years that's the objective awesome. that's the goal and it goes back to what alex said when you travel now if i have a gaming laptop in my console and i'm traveling and i want to be able to play my game chances are my console is going to stay i don't know the last time i've moved my console i've actually moved into another dwelling my console never gets unhooked like back in the day so it's cool to know that my entire game library digital library anyway can be on my laptop I can go, and I, and it's like I never left. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, that that yeah. is a, a freaking invaluable feature. It's invaluable. Like, you can't put a price on that because it's bringing you, you know, portable gaming comfort. Um, as far as an extra fee, depending on what it, depending on what the fee is and what your lifestyle is like, it may be worth another fee. Would I want to pay another fee? Absolutely not, because I don't like fees. <laughs> However, <laughs> That's true. However, when it rolls out, when it rolls out, you know, I would like, you know, maybe they'll do an Xbox Live Platinum membership that's like $20 more a year. Who knows? No, but, no, no. Don't give them like this. I know? hope not. But, but at the end of the day, I hope that it happens because it's another step forward for gaming and once again we the people who are we the people oh my god we the people who are spending the money on the consoles we're now getting more because it's about us we're the ones paying for this so we should get our money's worth when we buy these consoles and invest in these games you should have bought a pc it. when you had the chance what well, damn I always got the chance. You act like I'm dead. The heck? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, now with um, that, Playboy, your thoughts? I, I, I just, I just see, you know, added benefit to it because it's, it, it, it will, you know, it will reduce the developers' excuses of, well, we have no money because you're opening up another revenue stream. Hence, you know. You have more money, hence you can make more content, more games, etc., etc. You know, it, you know, in in the long term, their master plan was always to do this. You know, Microsoft has publicly stated this, and also Google and Apple has also openly stated that you know they want to ha they want to bring gaming cross platform. You know, 
be it, you know, PC, mobile, consoles, so forth and so forth. So, you know, this, this is the inevitable right here. So let's not, you know, get freaked out. Oh my God, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this, this. If this is long we're overdue. I, I said I said we're five years overdue for this. This this should have happened five years ago. You know what? My cousin Goken said that some time back. I mean, so yeah. Well, you know what? You get to say I told you so <laughs> because yeah, he's been saying that for the longest. But for the sake of time, who did not go yet? I didn't then, go, but okay. yeah, give Goken the floor, and then we'll go to Takuma. Takuma. Okay. Why we gotta let Takuma? This is a very important step for Microsoft if they can get this done because they, I'll be honest, they really, really need it. The, the fact that you guys are going to make it rich, but they, they need this, man. Like, like, like someone in the desert needs water. Like Microsoft needs this. Damn. It is very important for them. Well, to the game something. Did you just quote a, a song from the nineties? Go yeah. Like someone who doesn't need water. Yeah, that's right, baby. That's right. So, so <laughs> you know, I, I like my, I like Microsoft again. I have my career because of them, but uh, they just keep dropping the ball, and I don't know, man. I don't know. I think it's over. <laughs> He's not think it's over. <laughs> I think it's over. All right, right. That's all I gotta say. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so, no, I'm Debbie Downer. I'm not a Microsoft hater. I just, I just mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's, it's just bad. All, all right, right. I'm, I'm gonna get more shit. I'm gonna get more shit for this. But I bought the Xbox, as you guys know, and I gave it back. So. We played Halo, right? And, and, and barely helped me. He got, let me get shot up a couple of times. I'm like, what the heck? That's I'm like, I'm stuck, you. Oh, damn. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I, don't give me shit. Don't give me, I had good reason for it. Don't give me shit. Don't give me shit. Please. I, I had a good oh, you I can't believe back. this show. You let me get I shot up a couple of times. Like, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, uh, Takuma, what do you think about this possibility of having the crossplay between uh, Microsoft Xbox One console and Valve's uh, Steam? They should have done this a long time ago. I mean, it should have been done a couple of months right after they announced they were going to start having the 360 games convert over to the Xbox One. Mm -hmm. That should have been like, well, we got this idea. It seems to be working out pretty well. Let's go ahead and see if we can acquire Steam to do the same thing with some of their games to play on Xbox One. Mm -hmm. It should have been a long time ago, and I think they're fall falling on the heels as what they did for Street Fighter V. I, I believe they they just they fall on that path like well Street Fighter Five got as much success as playing on PC and Sony how come we can't incorporate the same thing with Steam or Xbox One? Uh yeah it's probably why they slipped yeah, it. So yeah, they make an app like, yeah make an app yeah. or something yeah like so I think they kind of fell behind on it they should have come out a little bit sooner but I mean we'll we'll see what happens it's a good idea but it should have been something that should have been done a lot sooner. Okay. Takuma, let me ask you a question. Oh Lord! Oh God! Oh! Why sound stop. like you on a walkie-talkie, yo? No, <laughs> you sound like a rapper, yo, recording in the studio. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm doing, yo. I'm making my music, yo. Unbelievable. About that mixtape. All right. Is right. there any more um... about new ball head and no, Patty's no. past? No, 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 no. Is there any more? Um information that you want to speak upon of this topic before we move on to the next any last word we can leave it where it's it's, okay. it's over Microsoft. Okay, so, 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 so it's done. if anything well, if anything comes to mind the director's cut is always there for us but we're gonna sh bring this segment to a close make sure you rate comment and subscribe check us out on newgamingorder.com for the latest and greatest gaming news and shout out to those 30 some odd subscribers that had us go over our 1800 sub request thank you guys very much hopefully it had nothing to do with the street fighter giveaway that nelson and i are doing because a whole bunch of people started subbing all of a sudden yeah. you know but yeah with that um also a uh, quick announcement you know i have to make sure that it's advertised there will be two tournaments being held for free copies of Street Fighter V, courtesy of NewGamingOrder.com. Make sure you um, go to the website or hit us up on YouTube for details and uh, how to participate in those online tournaments. 
and what's the worst that it can happen? It's free. You know, we'll host it. We'll make sure you're, you're on stream and whatnot. And hey, you'll get a copy of the game. You have two chances to win. You know, help us get those subs up. All right, Nelson. Any closing remarks before we go into the next topic? Um, that's really pretty much it, guys. Just uh, stay tuned. Also, um, follow the new Twitter path because again, things got changed with personal issues of life and whatnot. So. All the new gaming order information will now, instead of being on Mugen underscore Ketsuki at Twitter, it's now under Alex Lexus 2000 That's where you will see all the new uh, new gaming order content of when we start streaming, where the giveaways, and etc. etc. So I know a lot of people's like, oh, why you guys started early? Should have been on Twitter. But with that being said, we're gonna yeah, end this topic, and we're gonna see what else we could come up with to talk to you guys about.